We've taken a bit of a vacation here from my uh, shed. We're at my girlfriend's father's shed where he's got a lot more better tools than I do for the job. So what we've got here is, got this template finished. Um, I've taken a lot of the edges there. I don't know if I, I'll try to remember what I've actually done videos on. It's been taking me ages. But yeah, um, I used a little drum sanding attachment for my pillar drill and took these out. Quite nice and smooth. Um, there's a little bit of a dent here where I fucking dropped it when I was all up to the light. It's only at the top side, so template's looking good. Uh, for now, for the sake of just getting on with it, I'm going to draw around it and then we're going to get the band saw and we're going to cut all this out. I was going to do it at home, but the jigsaws, just not the, the blades I have at least, weren't deep enough to cut through this wood. Uh, band saw is going to do a much better job, so I've ni he's nicely agreed to let me use his tools. And. We're going to have a crack at that. Firstly, I want to draw around this template, though, because I'm not going to cut with the bandsaw around this in case I do screw anything up. I don't want to screw my template up as well as my wood. So what I'm going to do is just draw around this loosely and kind of get somewhere close-ish to these edges. I'm very careful at this end because I do not want anything close to these. I'd rather let the router do that job. Um, just because I'm inexperienced. So I think a lot of people I've seen cutting very close to the edge. I'm not going to get too close. I'm just going to take a little bit of material off with the router. Um, the centre line you probably can't see here. but the, I'm deciding which side to use as well. Because this is... There's like kind of imperfections here in the wood. That's actually like, you know, even after all the sanding and planing, that's still there. So I'm probably going to use this as the back side. Even though it's more strongly figured across it. Um, we'll flip this over and have a look at the other side. Which I thought looked kind of cool. It's got a bit more of a noticeable pattern on it. It's hard to tell that centre line as well. Just whether you've got it directly above it or not. I should really be drawing directly down. See if I can find there's a set square here somewhere. So what I want to do is I want to sort of draw a line directly down. So I can line up this more accurately than just eyeballing it from above to this centre line that you, you can't really see there. Thankfully you can't see the join, but there is a join. So yeah, I'm gonna use this little contraption and just sort of get it so it's... And then you can see whatever line I do draw down the side of that's gonna hopefully connect directly with the centre line. do on this way oh well if you can see that there but there's not a lot of space to move the camera about in this place so we're just gonna there we go so now we can see that little line there can be a lot more accurately lined up to the center of the guitar so at least when I do stick it on it's gonna going to work all right. I'm not going to leave it on for when I'm band sawing it. I think I might have mentioned that already. Um, I'm just sort of, this is the part where we debate. I'm probably going to cut here and sort of um, figure out where I want this figuring on the wood. That's it. I've made my decision. Because <laughs> if I burst this finish as well, that'll look pretty rad. So yeah, we're going to do it this way. I'm just going to get that bang on. Right. So we're going to draw around that. I'm going to do sort of an outer one as well. So the one's going to be like there, the really closest you can go. And this one's going to be the sort of outer.
Right, so I don't know how well you can see that there, but I've got two lines, two sets. I've got an outer and an inner line. Uh, the inner line is the actual contour of the body. The outer line is probably where I'm going to cut to, just to be on the safe side. I've never done it before. I don't want to get super, super close and then possibly screw it up entirely. So that gives us a little bit of wiggle room, but I think is a better idea. I'm going to see how well this cuts. Genuinely hoping this looks cool. And it all works out well. <laughs> we'll see, I guess. Right, next up, the bandsaw. We've kind of skipped a little bit here. Uh, we took some bits off the edges of this with a circular saw. Uh, and that was right in the depths of the shed, so we couldn't be asked setting the cameras up for that. But it doesn't really matter, it's pretty straightforward. We did get a couple of rough edges there, but we've got plenty of work to play with yet. Just makes it a little easier for us to take these bits off on the template, which I've now drawn around with a couple of edges, one slightly outer edge that can be as a guide edge, and then we've got a little bit to play with. Just because I'm not that experienced in cutting things out, you know, I'm a total novice at this. So we'll see how well I do. Um, yeah, so... I did. I did ask. I did ask my lass's dad if he wanted to be on on the videos. Do you not want to be on YouTube? And he went, "Do I L?" So I thought, yeah, <laughs> fair enough then, fella. <laughs> but yeah, he's a uh, very nicely letting me use his gear. So fair play. Let's. Uh, we're just gonna wait for some safety gear anyway, and we're gonna get started. Right, there we go. I can uh, let my hair down now. I'm not going to get dragged to my death. And um, I'm pretty much done with this. So, oh, here's the rough cut. See there? It looks like it's like the, the vague shape of a Telecaster. So that's not bad. Um, yeah, let's see how we do. So, like, yeah, there's, there's still, like, rough edges and, and shit. I don't know how well you can see that there. But I've got it fairly within the lines I wanted it to. The net pocket's not dodgy. That that looks like it's cut right in, but it hasn't. I've actually left a fair bit of space around that edge. And we're going to hope the router can do make a nicer job of this. Um, we've tested it against this template. It fits pretty much perfectly on there with a little lip around all the edges, if you can see. Probably not very well there. But yeah. We're probably going to, I'm going to do the routing at home because I've got the plunger out there and I'm making a router table at the minutes as well, which might be useful. So we can do that without hassling my girlfriend's family to use all the tools. And um, let's see if we can get something that actually looks like a guitar. We're getting there. It's nice. It's a good feeling to actually have something guitar shaped. But we'll be teleporting back off to where I live, uh, 70 miles away, and uh, finishing the job. Let's go. This is soundable today. <laughs> 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 